Hi everyone, this is Gwenda Joyce. I'm also known as the Art Ambassador. Those of you who see me on Facebook know that I spend a lot of time looking at art and going around to galleries and museums and artist studios and, and visiting art in settings where it can be seen and shared and interacted with. So you can imagine that this could be a challenging time for me, although I do work out of my home and I spend a lot of time in my home office. Um, fortunately, I'm surrounded by art. It still cramps my style not to be able to go out and have that chance to just experience art in different locations. So I thought I would reach out to you today and just say hello and um, share the fact that I know that we're, that all of us are, have kind of have our styles cramped. And this can be a time when we need to put our energies to good use. Um, it's going to force us to change. We need to take this uh, crisis in the world with the threat of, you know, uh, poor health, really uh, just something that could attack at any moment uh, because this virus is so contagious. So we need to protect ourselves and, and seriously think about how we're acting and interacting. So it's, it's a time when we're forcing change upon ourselves and new considerations and thoughts. Uh, it reminds me of the time, um, I owned a gallery for 20 years in Chicago. I think a lot of you know that and you know that, that my involvement with art is, is long term and very deeply heartfelt, uh, very much a part of my life. Um, and I have dedicated my life after having the gallery to helping artists build their careers and helping bring art and people together, you know, uh, bring art to the world and the world to art. Um, but one of the things that I learned when I had my gallery um, for over 20 years, um, and I was faced with economic recessions three times during that period, I learned how to make use of those down times, uh, how to make use of the times when things seem so dreary and we just uh, didn't know what the outcome was going to be. You know, in the gallery, when the recession hit, galleries are often like canaries in the cave. We knew first off if there was going to be an economic downturn or economic challenges because people would just start pulling back out of fear, uh, pulling back from coming to the galleries, coming, pulling back from supporting the galleries and the artists, um, not making purchases, and uh, allowing the fear to sort of overcome that desire to even interact with something that is so important to us. And so I, I experienced that three times and I've learned a lot from that experience. Um, I, I learned that, I think the biggest lesson I learned it was to make use of the downtime and to make it really be um, a productive time. I became more introspective in some ways and I did a lot of thinking. Uh, I thought about what was important and I thought about what I wanted to lay the groundwork for so that when I came out of this situation and it, it, it is a situation we c emerge from. This will not go on from ev forever and those recessions didn't go on forever. But we, I pulled back and I did a lot of uh, introspective thinking and contemplating and 
uh, made some realizations that led to decisions that helped me um, make decisions about what I wanted to do when we came out of the recession and how I wanted to reorganize not only my gallery, my business, but my life and my priorities uh, when I came out of the recession. And I also learned that the people who reached out to me at that time were the people who I wanted to be with because the people who reached out during those hard times and those bad times, those down times, were the ones I wanted to also have in my life when things got better. And I think that those two things really have had such an impact on me that after I emerged from those crises, they affected my life and the way I have interacted since then and the way I've put my life together since then. So those two lessons I think are really important now as we're going through this challenging time. Uh, and the lesson about wanting to reach out and be connected to people who were important and who were still around during those hard times is, uh, is somewhat of the motivation for why I wanted to reach out to you today. Um, I will say that it's become a part of my life. It's just the way I operate now, having known that that is a really important thing to do, that it's so important for us to connect on a human level. Uh, our human relationships are just so important. Um, now here we are in a time of isolation we have to pull back. It's hard to, in some cases, to stay six feet away from people who you are even casually in contact with. I consciously have to think about it. Um, I consciously have to think not to be so huggy and touchy. Um, but that's okay, I can do that for the safety of everyone. So in terms of reaching out to you today, I, I want to encourage you to connect with one another in different ways. I am making more use of my online uh, Zoom meeting platform because it's a way that I can still stay connected to people. I'm even just picking up the phone and calling and talking to people who I used to send an email to. There are ways that we can still stay connected and even build connections more than we used to. So reaching out is so important. It makes you feel good too. Hearing someone's voice, um, having a chance to have an interchange, a conversation, Instead of a one-way dialogue, or not a dialogue, it's a one-way communication on the internet when you're sending an email. Uh, even when sending out my newsletters, uh, which I'm going to be doing more of, and if you're interested in being on my email newsletter list, uh, I, I love to connect with you that way. Through, through my email newsletters and my community of artists who are, uh, are part of the Art Ambassador community. And of course on Facebook. I love to communicate on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, but I'm also going to be developing a chance to have more voice-related contact more contact and developing relationships uh, because this is reminding me how important it is. So I hope to be talking to you again real soon. Um, thank you for listening. And if you want to connect to me, you can just uh, 
write yes in the comments below and I would be happy to make contact with you on Messenger and add you to my list and just say hello. Glad we're connected. Thanks for being here uh, to listen and I look forward to having more contact with you. Uh, it's so important to me. And let's make the most of this very challenging time so that we can come out of it in having learned some important lessons and making it a better world all around for all of us. The world is so small, we are all connected. And it's up to each one of us to do what we can to make the world a better place. I, I will be talking to you soon. Thanks for being here. This is Gwenda Joyce, also known as the Art Ambassador.